So we're in the middle of May and the flowers are doing great out here. I thought it'd be nice to just point out a few things that I'm pretty proud of here. These are clematis that are growing on a little trellis arch on our back patio. The funny thing about this is the side closest to the house doesn't have very many leaves, but it's got all the flowers. And this other side has this huge amount of leaves. with one little flower. Go figure, it happened last year too. There's something about the plants, I guess. The rhododendrons have been doing great. This one right next to our buckling pin is uh, just exploding with flowers right now. This iris is kind of special to me. It's the first one that's blooming in our back patio garden. We established this garden in kind of an unusual way. There was a large tree that was in danger of falling on the house when we first bought the place. So we decided to have it taken out and they dropped it right expertly along this uh, embankment here. Let me see if I can give you, give, you, give you a look at what it looks like. And then we backfilled the area to create a nice little flower bed. Anyway, the story behind the, uh, the iris is my, my grandfather gave me a bunch of these irises years ago back when I lived in southeast Portland and we transplanted most of them when we moved out here to Oregon City and irises can take quite a while to rebloom after you transplant them it certainly took this one a little while I've got several of them planted right along the back edge of this log so they stand nice and tall and proud kind of up above a lot of the other flowers and we'll be able to see them pretty well so yeah yeah just another uh, little aspect of spring that I that I enjoy out here okay so it's not flowers down here but the ferns and the trees are just incredibly lush I really love this kind of primeval primeval landscape of giant ferns on the forest floor down in the ravine by our creek. Let's take a quick look. This rhododendron here is uh, another first. Last year I transplanted several rhododendrons from the front of our yard and this is the first one to bloom. It was kind of a big project last year. I dug out the roots of this really well established rhododendron that had sent off some uh, runners that were starting to grow up and they were you know growing in places that I didn't really want the rhododendrons I wanted to keep them a little more contained but I knew I wanted some more down here in the in our ravine to make our forest setting a little more colorful 
Anyway, after taking them out, I uh, put them in pots for most of the year so I could keep them really well watered and kind of baby them along. And then transplanted them uh, a little later in the year. And I'm glad to say that they're doing really well. I put three rhododendrons in this sort of middle area here. Might be a little hard to see right now, but they're quite tall and leggy. And a lot of people will want to cut them down and try and encourage them to be more of a contained bush. But I really like the look of tree-like rhododendrons. I think that's really elegant and just a really beautiful characteristic of rhododendrons that are maybe struggling a little bit to try and reach the light and that, that's how they grow that way. But I think it's extraordinary. And I think this is a great spot for them. The roses in our front yard are really getting quite lovely. Plenty of more rose buds to bloom. It is a pretty time of year.